Hey guys, welcome to another gold making video. In this one, I've got a super good solo gold farm. You can also do it as a group, but it works just as good as solo. You can make around 50k gold per hour with the current prices. And what we're going to be farming is the golden pearl. Have a look at the price at this boy right now. So the golden pearl is currently at around 400 gold. Um, anywhere from like 400 to 500 gold. It's been that lately and you can make so much from this. And yes, they still sell really well because people are buying these for a whole heap of diff different professions and people still actually buy this. And there's no one farming this old content really. That is why the prices of these have went up so much and why this is once again a really good farm. So I'm gonna show you where to farm this and how to farm this. So first of all, you want to head over to Blasted Land and you want to speak to this person right here. And you want to change this to the old version of Blasted Lands. So this is located right up the north side of Blasted Lands. There's like this little speech bubble and this is where you'll be able to change the zone from two different types. And you want to click this button right here which says show me Blasted Lands before the invasion. Now this here will put you in the right um, right time zone to actually do this farm. Alright, so where the farm is located is down here and now there's a big spot of where these guys spawn and where the farm actually is. And so what you're going to be killing are all these mobs around here. Now a lot of them start with blood, uh, blood wash, that is the start of their name. So a handy macro to use for this farm is this one right here, slash clear target slash target blood wash slash cast moonfire and you pretty much spam this while you're running and killing all these mobs you can also use uh, swipe now a good spec to be running for this is in your feral spec and you want to have all of the movement increasing talents so like all these ones right here stamping raw, raw dash um, feline swiftness and tireless pursuit now you also want to have Lunar Inspiration. This will allow you to use Moonfire while you're in cap form. So I'll show you where the farm is. It's pretty big, and so you won't run out of things to kill. Another thing, you do want to make sure you've got your, your speed set on. You also want to be using the speed set vial, and then also the speed increasing fish, which I just use fried bone fish. This takes uh, 10 seconds to give us the buff. So once we've got that, we'll keep on going. But basically, I'll show you where the farm is. So they're all along here. I'll be on the map too, just so you can see a bit better. But as you can see, they spawn all the way down here. And there's basically a big track of these, of these like, um, of these guys right here, these murlocs. And then you want to be killing the big dudes, like these ones right here, that are all the way around it. And they'll spawn for ages. So what you do is pretty much start at one end. You kill all of these and you keep on going, you keep on going, and they go all the way up into this tunnel. As you see, there's more here, there's more here. They spawn all the way around here. Now, these all have a chance of dropping the golden pearl, and there's just heaps and heaps of mobs. So, by the time you get up to this cave, at the start, would have respawned already. So, you get to here, then what you want to do is fly back to the start of the farm, which is just over here. And then you just want to rinse and repeat that process, killing these guys. Now you can get some transmog pieces, but the main gold is going to come from the golden pearls. As you can see, we've got 270 right there, with the current market price up the very top on, uh, next to vendor. And that's going to sell for 107k gold, which is really, really good. They're a bit higher, they're way higher than the market value that you can see down the bottom on TSM. So if you're looking up the very top, you can see 1,007k gold. That is the current price that they're listed for on the auction house. However, they might sell anywhere from the 398 gold all the way down to, say, 200 gold at the market price. But they currently got a really, really high price. That is why this farm is making so much gold at the moment. So basically what I do is just kill these guys just like this, loot them up as you go, and you just want to follow the full path that I did before. And then to make it easier, you can just be in cap form and you can use swipe, that works good too. 
because there are a few things that will make the macro automatically target. So these things here start with blood wash crate. So what you can actually do to make this even better is we can change the macro. Just do that real quick. And we can change it so it's their full name. So you want to have blood wash and then you want to add barbarian just like that and the macro should work a lot better so it won't be targeting the, the crates and then you can just run along here kill these guys loot them up as you go and how you're going to actually be getting the golden pearls is from these things right here so the big mouth clamps now these have a chance to drop the golden pearls however you can sell them by themselves they actually have a pretty decent market value at the moment of 33 gold however you'll make a lot more by actually opening these up and what you can do is you can throw them on your action bars and you can just spam you can spam it and it'll actually open them for you now when you don't get the pearls you're going to be getting the crab meat which doesn't sell for near pretty much anything so all the gold will come from the um the pearls when you get them anyways guys that is how you do this farm it's super good at the moment with the such good prices on the golden pearls they're not that rare you can get a whole heap of these per hour we did a couple hours of farming and i got 270 of them so they're not rare whatsoever if you enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button and if you want to learn more about making gold in world of warcraft you can check out my gold making guide which has a whole heap of different farming methods techniques and just guides on how to make gold in the game. Pretty much everything I know about making gold in World of Warcraft, you'll find that inside of my gold guide. And that will be the first link down in the description box below the video. Till the next one guys, take care.